Hey you guys, what's up? It's Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please think about hitting that subscribe button if this is something you guys are into. Welcome back to all my other subscribers. You guys are the best. Thanks so much for watching again. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite, most easiest, is that the way to say it? My easiest hanging house plants. And these are the ones that have given me no trouble at all and they're absolutely beautiful hanging. So let's just get right into it. So number one on my easiest hanging house plants would be the pothos could you guys guess any other one this is the most easy no fuss house plant i absolutely love them i have them all over my house this one is a newer one and i actually haven't watered him yet and he is getting really light and the leaves are droopy so it's about time i would say in the next day or so to give him a drink but i chose this guy actually over hoya because let me show you this stem right here. Look, look at how huge these leaves are. And look at this stem, you guys. This part right here, which I might try to mount him on something and let him climb, is absolutely huge. I mean, look at my hand. These leaves, this is what sold me, and he was on sale. So I got him for $10 and as much as I love pothos, I just couldn't pass him up. Pothos is basically what got me hooked on wanting to collect so many houseplants and I have tons of them. I don't know how many I have. I know I have one or two in my bedroom. I have one in my plant room. I have this one. I have another one right here behind me that's long and trailing. So yeah, I have them everywhere. They're super easy, no fuss at all. They won't die if you forget to water them for a day or two and they're absolutely beautiful hanging. So this guy's on my porch right now. I kind of ran out of room and put him out there, but he seems to be doing good and he's actually handling it. It's still a little bit chilly and he's fine. So he's staying out there. It's getting ready to be spring, but isn't this stock right here just awesome? So let's go ahead and move on to my number two favorite hanging plant. Okay guys, this is Next Day Sarah. I accidentally deleted a clip from yesterday and I'm still in my pajamas, so you guys won't be seeing me right now. But, next up on the list is Skindapsis Pictus. You guys know how much I absolutely love Skindapsis. I think they are beautiful trailing. They are just everything. I'm telling you guys, they're so pretty and so simple and easy. If these are not on your top five hanging house plant list, they should be. So go ahead and get your pencil or pen out and write it down because you guys need to get you one of these. I'm telling you, they're so easy and simple and they give me the signs of when they need a drink. Can you tell a theme here in this video? I like all the plants that give me signs. So basically what they do is their leaves just curl up like this when they're ready for a drink and they look kind of sad and droopy and that's when I give them a drink. So simple, so easy add it to your list. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> All right, you guys. So next up on one of my easiest is the Heartleaf Philodendron or otherwise known as Philodendron Cordatum. They are so easy, you guys, and they do really, really good. And I would say like medium light, they will actually turn their leaves and kind of reach towards the sunlight. So if you keep them hanging in one spot and say the windows on the other side of the room, it'll kind of turn all its leaves. I have one on my porch that has taken off insanely. I'll show you guys some pictures. I bought two of these, I guess it was last spring, and they took off. I gave them something to climb and they did amazing, but these are so easy to take care of and they're really easy to tell kind of when they want to water as well and they don't freak out if you don't water them either. You can kind of tell what are my favorite plants that you know, can be neglected. <laughs> but basically what will happen is this one is feeling pretty close to needing a water. The leaves don't feel as thick and then you'll kind of see them all sort of droop down and it just looks a little bit sad. That's when I give them a water. So whenever the leaves are droopy and a little bit sad looking and the leaves don't feel so thick and full, 
that's when I give them water and when they're really light but they do good in all different types of circumstances they're so easy and I love them hanging I just love anything that trails down because I have cats and all the plants that I can keep hanging is the best I know they're safe <laughs> But yeah, the Hartley Philodendron definitely has my heart, you guys. All right, you guys, so next up on the list is this Hoya. Now, I feel that all types of Hoyas are such great plants for hanging. They just look absolutely beautiful, and there's so many different kinds that you can get. But I have found that this Crimson Princess right here is the easiest, and it grows so much. Look at how huge and long it is. This guy just took off for me, and it's crazy. They're little tendrils. As I shoo away a cat here. <laughs> Their tendrils will just grab hold of anything that it can, and it's so easy. You literally just don't water them for a while. <laughs> just don't water them. But no, I don't water them until I notice that the leaves are kind of soft and they're a little bit wrinkly, so he is not ready for a drink yet but you can just tell and they just start getting kind of shriveled up like and that's when I give them a drink. I don't water them before I notice that and honestly, I don't keep track. It could be probably every couple weeks right now with it being winter, but when it's spring out on the porch, I would say like every two weeks, I would give him a water because he dries out a whole lot more on the porch, but aren't they beautiful and they're so easy, you guys. So if you see one of these, Pick them up if you're looking for something that is easy to care for. They do good and really bright light. I have this guy in front of my window and he's really happy there. I haven't had any problems with them burning or anything like that and he is definitely loving life with all his long luscious hair. <laughs> I'm kidding, his tendrils, his arms, whatever you wanna call them. He's happy boy. So. I absolutely love this guy. They're so, so easy. This one is another great suggestion for easy plants that you guys don't have to worry about. So I have one more that I'm going to show you guys and then that's going to be it. So let's move on to the last one. So when I first got this guy, I passed him up a couple times because I wasn't sure if I was going to like him and I have fallen in love with him because he has grown so much for me and has done so well. So here is my Syngonium. <laughs> Let me show you. Do you guys see how giant he is? I'm sorry, I probably should have had the camera backed away a little more. He is absolutely huge and is doing so, so good in this hanging basket. And he does great in all types of light. I've moved him around quite a bit. And I've had him most recently in my plant room that doesn't get the best light. But I am getting ready to move him out on the sunroom. And I did just give him a water so he's starting to perk up. But... <laughs> I'm getting hung. Hold on. <laughs> Move some of these hanging plants. Uh, yeah, isn't he awesome? I found that I like the Syngoniums that kind of have a thicker leaf. The Syngoniums, like this pink one right here, the leaves are really, I don't know, they're a lot thinner. I can't explain it and I don't know exactly what it is. I'm sure some of you guys who are much smarter than me know but these leaves are just a lot thinner and I feel like they just drop leaves a lot faster and I have to water them a whole lot more. These do not like to dry out and this guy likes to dry out. He does. He does best if I let him dry out, then all the arms kind of droop on him and I give him a water. And actually, he really likes, yes, it's a he. All my plants are pretty much he's, but he really likes to be bottom watered and I just kind of fill up a big dish or bucket of water and set him down in it or in my kitchen sink and I let him soak up the water and he perks right up. Now, if I don't have the time for that, I do top water him, but I have found that he just seems to be growing and doing a lot better and he just likes it. He likes being bottom watered. So, this one's super easy, you guys. You can pretty much put them anywhere. They'll do great, but yeah. He's heavy. I'm putting him down because I just watered him. But yeah, that's going to do it for my top five. Let me make sure that was five. Was that five? One, two, three, four, five. Um, you better back your butt up out of here. You're not supposed to be in here and I got to put these plants back up. You better get out of here. Uh, 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 uh. 
You better get out. Get. <laughs> I said get. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Not allowed. Not allowed. I bet you won't jump in now, will you? Huh? Okay, so that's gonna do it for my top five most favorite, easiest, simple, no fuss plants, you guys. If you guys are looking for some plants that are low maintenance, this is them. I'm telling you what, they're so easy. They give me absolutely no trouble at all. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that little bell. Yet again, I still haven't quite figured out my posting schedule, so if you guys hit that bell, you'll get a little notification every single time I post a video so you guys don't miss anything. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching and liking, subscribing. You guys are the best, and I'll be back at you again soon with another one. Bye!